business. Is there anyone enter here without you being brought? Anyone? Is that why you think a vehicle over your neck? Is there anyone? So the Lord and safety is very important. It's everybody's business. So let me use this opportunity to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for saving our life witness this important event and also thanks the organize the management committee on this occasion for giving me this ample opportunity to speak on the road safety issue. The road safety advocacy is not for better road safety for alone. Rather it is a shared responsibility involving all of us, especially this time of Ember the high volume of traffic as a lead agency, road traffic management and safety management in Nigeria is expected to proactively put in place some measures, programs to reduce and minimize road traffic on our highway. The Environment Campaign also shall be used as a forum to intensify the awareness on the ethic of safe driving culture among the motoring public to curtail the critical offenses which can cause the road crash. Such of critical offenses such as over speeding, use of phone when driving, overloading, driving under the influence of alcohol or hackers and others. And shall everybody be intensified if it happened by the action or inaction of one being? I hope you believe me. It's not an accident, it's not just happening. It's happening by the action of human being. So that book is preventable. If you avoid some unethical driving or unethical driving culture, you can be preventable. Now, sites connected on a road traffic crash have shown that there are three major causes or factors that can cause the road traffic crashes. The first one is human factor. Second one is mechanical factor and the last one is environmental factor. I hope you believe me. So, let me start with the human factor. With the action by human being can cause the road traffic crash. Driver alone consumed about the 90% of road traffic crash. Out of this percentage, driver action or inaction constituted about 80%. Only was the driver. Driver, you are a big man. So, over speeding. Over speeding is one of the common factors can cause the road traffic crash. It's very dangerous. Try to avoid it. Overloading. Also, try to stop it or discourage overloading vehicle by not being part of any, in any way. Try to avoid or discourage the overloading. Overloading is very dangerous. It's another cause can cause the traffic crash. Overconfidence. Some driver are overconfidence. The thing is, a master is Alpha or Omega, you don't consider some right of the other road user. Lack of concentration. Some drivers that are not concentrated on the driving, they engage in some unnecessary activities, especially use of phone when driving. Change of radio station, all this is bad habits. It's unethical driving culture. It can cause road traffic crash. Try to avoid it. Then driving under the influence of alcohol or hard drugs. Already, my sister agency really mentioned some of the side effects of hard drugs, especially marijuana, Indian hemp, ganja, and whatever. All that hard drugs can cause the road traffic crash. So, can lead the heroin, all this can cause the poor judgment, poor coordinating poor coordinating and reckless driving which can lead to road traffic crash. Tiredness. 
Violence also is another factor that causes the road traffic crash. Driving without adequate rest after long journey also is a problem. According to the safety, if they are traveling at least two hours, at least get 15 minutes rest to avoid fatigue or sleep situation which can cause road traffic crash. Road violation also is another factor which can cause the road traffic crash. You know road violation. I saw you know road violation. You leave your own land, go to another one. Eh? Around or one way. I don't saw you. So try to avoid it, please. Use of one when driving is very dangerous, especially in this time of environmental situation. You are receiving call at the same time or trying to make call when you are driving. Or some people that are trying, some drivers that are trying to chat in what's up when you are driving. You divert your attention from one primary assignment to another second primary assignment. So try to avoid receiving call or making pain when you are driving. Then, dangerous overtaking. Dangerous overtaking also is another factor which can cause road traffic crash. It's very dangerous. That's what we call it dangerous overtaking. So drivers, they can overtake anyhow. If you obey the rule of traffic, there are some specific places which is safer for you to overtake. But some are drivers, they are overtake anyhow. So try to avoid and obey the traffic rule and regulation. Then in this terminal, parking. Avoid parking on safe places, such as sharp bend, hill, double parking. You see somebody park the vehicle side the road, but you are trying to park in another side. This can cause the road traffic crash. So try to avoid it. So I hope with these short courses, open factor I mentioned under the human factors, you believe me that road traffic crash is not just accident, it's happening as a result of human being activities. Let me go the Sorry, with the time factor, let me go to the second point for mechanical factor. Mechanical factor also is another form factor which can cause road traffic crash. Poor maintenance of vehicle can lead to crash. And poor maintenance vehicle also can lead to a problem from one to another. For example, if you have a vehicle early in the morning, there is one lamp we call a Rosetti morning parrot. Don't go and open your vehicle, kick it and start moving. It's better for you to go and observe it. That we call it primary parade. That is one level we call it box. That level is that for water. Check the level of water in your radio to. Then oil stand for, oil stand for oil. Check the level of oil of your engine. Then stand for pump belt. Check your pump belt and some others. Frost boots and others. Then T stand for tires. Maybe you park your vehicle peacefully before tomorrow it's deflated. So try to check your tires. That you call morning parade. So poor maintenance of vehicle also for lead to the block problem from one to another. That can affect the control of vehicle engine. So come some of the common faults of vehicle including malfunction of engine. If you are poor maintenance of your vehicle, it can cause malfunction of your engine. Tire bus. You know the problem of tire bus when the vehicle is more motion. Brake pedal also is another factor which can cause narrow traffic crash. Electrical system. Lighting system also is another factor which can cause the road traffic crash. Linking coil, linking coil, that may result the fire outbreak. 
All these can cause drug traffic crash. The last one is environmental factor. Road condition and other environmental elements also is another factor which can cause the road traffic crash. Such as potholes, sharp bend, bridge, hills, rain, and others. All this is can, can cause the road traffic crash. Finally, the essence of every journey is to move from point A to point B safely. Without any occurrence of road traffic crash and its attendant consequences. So with this brief presentation, you believe me, the road traffic crash is not just happening. It happens as a result of human activities. Mr. Pirama, remember, the road is very patient, but does not forgive. Some people say, the 1,000 days for the owner, I don't have 1,000 days for the team, but the only one for the owner. So thank you very much.
Celebrate our great country. I can tell you, Nigeria will ever remain great in Jesus' name. We are winning. The security agents are winning. Nigeria is winning. And we will win in Jesus' name. Uh, on behalf of the Commissioner of Police, I am Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of the CIA. Uh, um, as security agents, we handle the role of the church. We can't do without your prayer. Why we are winning outside is because people are praying for us. And we recognize your level, and I pray your level in the brilliance of God will not go unrewarded in the name of Jesus. I will not waste much of your time, but let me say this. That's why all challenges we are facing in this country, Nigeria, we are moving forward and we will remain great in the name of Jesus. I want you to value your own, value the security agent, value the leaders, value everybody. Condemnation, complaint, we help nothing. We help nothing. But when we pray for them, the wisdom from above will come down and they will do the right thing. And I pray we will do the right thing in Jesus' name. A little security steep. I don't want to waste your time. Just two minutes, three minutes, I'm out of this place. Um, while the church is praying, the security are doing their own. I want to let you know there are three need to do, you need to do, it is very, very important, especially at this embargo. If you see something, report, 
something, you must report. Security agent cannot be everywhere. It is your duty, it is my duty to report the happening, the crime in your area to the security agent and they will take appropriate action. Security agents are not God, they are not angels, they have their lapses. Of course, they are human beings. We cannot say because of the lapses of one or two, we will not do the needful. Security is everyone's business. The little security uh, team in this embargo that I want you to take home is also never send the picture of your children, especially in uniform, in their badges to social media. Don't expose your children. People are there looking to read where they doesn't show. That shall not be our portion in the name of Jesus. It is your duty to guide your children. It is my duty to guide my children. When you attend party, if you want to make donation, don't come out to show that you have money. You can use any group. Give whatever you want to give. Not that you spend money. You don't know who is in that uh, location. Even in the church, we don't know our heart. It is only God that knows our heart. So you must be wise. And as we cannot to be wise, we will not become the victim of banditry or kidnapper in the name of Jesus. Don't go to ATM and say, ah, let me show up. I want to withdraw every money. Eh? You don't need 50,000, you don't need 200,000 to put in your wallet so that people will call this man a really man. You don't need, you are putting your life in a stake. Please be wise in whatever you are doing. Always delete your bank alert. When they send you alert, delete it, delete it, delete it. You can memorize your balance you have in your account. Don't carry it. Ah, look at me, my boy. I have millions. You are selling yourself. I pray you will not sell yourself in the name of Jesus. Don't go on jogging when it is dark. Don't. Don't. And we need to be wise. We need to be wise. And sure, if you want to do exercise, and sure you go on jogging when it is daytime or when everybody is already on the road. But if you must go early, go with your trusted partner. Go with your trusted partner so that you will not be a victim. If you want, if you are going anywhere, even to off your chair, and sure you close your door. Don't say, it's just here, let me go there. You don't know who is watching. It is my prayer, none of us shall be a victim of these bad boys in the name of Jesus. Never, never, ever lose your ID card or wear your ID card. Nobody wants to know where you are walking. Nobody. And you must be security conscious. And I pray you will not become a victim of this bad boy in the name of Jesus. Mind what you post on social media concerning yourself, concerning your family. It is so important. Don't say yourself sheep. Like I said, if you see something, you see crime, you report it. And as we do our own portion, God will take care of Nigeria. We will fly higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. Meeting the commander 207 quick response group, the person of group captain Stephen Paul Sekego. I'm flying of Sir Philip Onuhirenu Ashomi, and I'll be logistics of Sir 207 quick response group, Nigerian Air Force, Bissau. Please permit me to stand on the already established protocol and permit me to equally say that whatsoever I will be saying here, they are the exact words from the commander 207 quick response group to serve. Our spiritual fathers in the house, our dear elders and parents, the youth and strength of the nation, brothers and sisters in the Lord. I shall not forget to mention the heavenly choir. Calvary greetings to you all. Today we are gathered 
in celebration of our great country, Nigeria, as it marks 63 years of independence. Anyone of the age of 60 years and above seated here today has joined the League of Senior Citizens of a Nation. We celebrate you also. Independence is not synonymous to nations alone. The Bible recorded that today I bring you life and death, and I give and gave us the liberty to choose. That was independence. Our independence as Nigeria reminds us of our free will to choose whom to serve as Christians. A wise man once said, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Therein lies true freedom. Nigeria as a nation have made several choices leading to our present state. So also have we as individuals. We can truly build this nation where we serve rightly as individuals, wherever we find ourselves, whether in our trade, in the market, in our schools, at our workplaces, or at home. Where we find ourselves today is where home is. This nation is desirous of peace, especially in our state, more than anything else. We call on all who contribute to the effort of all security agencies by providing necessary information that will help us combat banditry and all acts of terrorism. By so doing, we shall build a nation where our children and their children's children will live peacefully. God bless us all. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Happy Independence Day to you all. Thank you. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. First of all, I want to thank God for this great honor and privilege. I'm um, standing on the shoes of the Assistant Controller of Customs in the person of Hussein Mohammed. And I am Superintendent of Customs in Gobasu Chris and also the 2IC Nigerian Customs in Uzo. Um, let me start on my existing protocols. Very in the house, I greet you and everyone present are very good here. Today, Nigeria is, a great, is celebrating 63 years of independence. I tag it as a year of liberty because of the challenges Nigeria is facing. When I was coming down to this place, I was just thinking, I said, ah, what are the days when we are celebrating independence? And you see the world filled with people holding Nigerian flag, celebrating. But today, it seems all hope is lost. But I want to remind us that all hope is not lost. There are better days coming ahead of us. Praise the Lord. We are a federal government agency solely responsible for the border security, suppression of smuggling, generation of revenue to the federal government, implementation of federal government fiscal policies, yearly fiscal policies. But today, because we are in the zones of our state, I want to just lay emphasis on the suppression of smuggling, which involves every one of us seated here. Directly or indirectly, we are all affected. And by that, I'll talk about the movement of goods and services in and out of Nigeria. Praise the Lord. Now, if you look at us, every one of us is putting on the clothing material. Which majority of them are not made in Nigeria, they come in from outside. If you look at us, we have eaten something, either rice or some foreign food. My sister agency, the NAB that I came, they, he, made, he made mention of drugs, tramadol and all sorts of things. Those things are not produced in Nigeria. They are foreign material that comes in into the country, either through the land borders or the seaports or on the air, through the airport. Now, customs is scheduled with the responsibility 
to ensure that no illegal material, no illegal good, no illegal substance comes into the country. We face the various challenges where people always call not custom, we choose this, we this now. Okay, let me tell you what it means when we say we are seizing something. Today, the dollar is suffering. Why? Because everything the average Nigerian man consumes is imported. I'm sorry to say it, even the toothpick that we use in our homes, it's imported. The foods we eat, most of them they are imported. But we are so blessed with the land. I came to Zambora and I was marveled. Anything you place on the soil of Zambora does well. These things we can produce and manage their way in Nigeria. And look, until we help ourselves, we can't get what we want. The victory that we're looking for the good of Nigeria that we're looking for, the betterness of this nation, until we look inside us as a country, as a people, we can't achieve that. No foreigner, no white man, no foreigner can do that for us because we know our own challenges. And how do we do that as individuals? Well, you know that federal government said, don't bring in foreign rice. Before a foreign rice will move from a foreign country to Nigeria, a minimum of three months. Do you know the chemical they use in preserving those things? You don't know. Federal government says, okay, let let encourage our local farmers, those that produce rice in Zambia State, in Kebi State, in Sokoto, so that they could do work. Our rice will compete with international. Praise the Lord. Our dollar will compete with the international market. That's the only work of customs. And if you don't do that, I will say, please stop. Don't do it. And I say, hey, we are, doing, are we doing bad? Let's talk. Are we doing bad? No. Let's let's help ourselves. Praise the Lord. So today, while we are celebrating our sincere independence, let's bear in mind that the growth of this country is in your hand, is in my hand, it's in our hand. And that until we come together to fight smuggling. Okay, let me talk about insecurity as well. Those weapons, what happened on, was it on Saturday last week in the Daba? If you look at the ammunitions they use, they are not produced in Nigeria. How do they get into the country? They were smuggled in by some of us, praise the Lord. I pray none of us is here. They were smuggled by some of us into the country, into the wrong ends. The only official body that mandated to do that is the defense, the army, the military. But everywhere is infiltrated. Why? Because of the porosity of our nation. And people are there, day in, day out, sleepless nights, to ensure that big things are not allowed to come into the country, so that crime will be minimized to the barest minimum. Please, let's put our hands together, even as we ensure that our borders are secured, even as we ensure that smuggling is minimized to the PRS minimum. Once again, I would extend my greeting to the organizers of this program. I really do appreciate what you people are doing here. I can feel the glory of God, I can feel the presence of God, and I can feel that Nigeria is moving forward. Thank you, and God bless you. That's our slogan. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Are there living souls in the house? Yes, sir. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, my name is Iko Oche. I am a normal man by tribe. I want to appreciate God Almighty for this opportunity. I am the PRO for the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. I am here representing my indefatigable commandant, the security consulate, the man with administrative power, the person of commandant, Sani Mustafa who, as a result of call to duty in Abuja, is unavoidably absent. He delegated my senior colleague, Assistant Commander Mike Mosebe, to represent him too. 
in conjunction with me. Unfortunately, his daughter was hospitalized. He has to move to Kenya. Uh, I have very senior officers here. I must recognize the AC in charge of CID and General Police Force. So my greetings to you. I have the pastors, my friends, and colleagues in my duty police, Pastor Isaac Samuel Obon. He's also my colleague. You know understand, but he understands. I also have the Nigerian Army Quick Response Group and all the other things that are here. But there is one person I must recognize here. That is my spiritual director, father and mentor. The person of Apostle Patrick Mona. I recognize him and salute you for coming. Today we are celebrating the 63 year old of Nigeria independence. The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps is an organization that is a child of both the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Police, the Nigerian Air Force, and the Nigerian Navy. We are the last one in the row. We complement their effort, but we have our primary responsibility. Please, when you see somebody with cables that are made for electricity and the person cannot explain where he or she has gotten it from, please report to my office. That is vandalization. <laughs> when the pipeline that is supposed to supply fuel is being forced by good lungs, please report to my office. That is vandalization. That is one of our primary roles. When you see a private guard company that is not doing well, living up to expectation, please report to my office. We are the one monitoring, training, and taking care of them. We have other roles that we are playing. One of the primary roles that have been added to us again is what I just want to bring the congregation about, the Safe School Initiative. The Safe School Initiative is a brainchild of the Commandant General, Dr. Abubakar Ahmed Audi, MNI OFR, who happens to be celebrating his own birthday today again. The second initiative is for our students to go to school without harassment, for our students to go to school without kidnapping, for our students to go to school without any kind of embarrassment. We are in conjunction with other sister agencies ensuring that the schools are safe for learning. That is his initiative. It's one of the roles that the federal government has added to us. So please, my colleagues in, this, in the job, as time goes on, I know my organ and boss will be liaising with your bosses for assistance. Please make sure you give us the necessary assistance on behalf of the commandant and my boss, Commandant Sami Mustafa, I wish to say happy 63 anniversary. Thank you and God bless you. If you have your Bible, can you please open to Psalm 20, verse 7? Psalm number 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Praise the Lord. Today is our independent day. As a nation, we turn 63. Those of us that were privileged to have witnessed that glorious day when the Union Jack was lowered by mighty, by midnight, will definitely remember with some sense of nostalgia. The young generation that were told the story can only imagine the feeling that must have swept through the shores of the nation then. Fast forward, through these 63 years, how do we feel when we survey the myriad of challenges that seem to threaten our very existence while looking at the nation that, our, that are our 
contemporaries. Our text today point us to consciously refuse to trust in horses and chariots. Like others do, we must not build our confidence on our achievement. We are not to rely on the created, but on the creator. Praise the Lord. In all ramification, we are to trust in God by remembering Him. To forget God is tantamount to foolishness. As Psalm 53 verse 1 states, A fool says in his heart, there is no God. When we choose to remember God instead of remembering our woes, we choose to trust Him for the future. If, on the contrary, we choose to depend on them, on the arm of flesh, we are assured that the arm of flesh will surely fail us. As we mark yet another independent anniversary, let our citizens consciously remember God's faithfulness even in the midst of our own unfaithfulness. Let us lift our eyes unto Him and rise from our state of despondency into His will for us as a nation. This season, I pray, God will see us through. In one season, David is a shepherd boy. In the next season, he is a king. In one season, Esther is an orphan girl. In the next season, she is a queen. In one season, Joseph is a prisoner. In one season, he is a prime minister. In one season, Mordecai is sitting outside the king's palace. In one season, he is inside the palace. In one season, Ruth is walking through. In the next season, she is holding the field. Praise the Lord. I pray this season, God will move Nigeria forward to the permanent side in the right direction in Jesus' name. Thank you and God bless you.